How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a walking NPC for your Minecraft from our world. It's super simple and easy to do and the reason for this is that you could actually make your NPCs move rather than just have them stand still at a shop or something. But yeah, this NPC for me is going to be a quest as you can see when I open this NPC. I just changed my game mode to survival but when I see this NPC, I could actually open it up and it says, can you help me find this key? And you can click accept and it's pretty much like a quest thing. But yeah, you can make your walking NPC have a buy shop, shell shop, or do quests like this or have them tp to you to different places whatever you want to use this for it just makes your npc walk and it makes it look better in your world but yeah if this video helps you guys out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel but anyways let's get right into the tutorial video and as you can see this npc is moving around which is really cool but yeah the first thing you want to do is grab a few items so you want to grab a villager spawn egg a npc spawn egg a anvil and a command block and to get this npc spawn egg do slash give at s spawn underscore egg 151 and hit enter and you'll get one in your inventory and to get a command block do slash give at s command underscore block and hit enter and you'll also get one as well let me change my game mode back to creative and the next thing you want to do is you want to put these commands in your chat so that your chat doesn't spam up with repeating command blocks as you can see i am standing on top of a purple command block which is a repeating command meaning that if you have one in your realm or world then it will repeat in your chat and you don't want that to be annoying so to get rid of that just do slash game rule command block output false and hit enter and on the top left of the screen it should say game rule command block output has been set to false which means you are good and the next thing you want to do is you want to place your command block wherever you want it to be so i have mine right here and uh when you place it down you want to stay next to it actually and you want to do slash ticking area add circle tilde 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 four and after this you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name this npc walk and you want to hit enter and on the top left of the screen it should say one out of ten ticking areas in use i have two because i already have another one in this world but yeah this makes it so that your command block can be used throughout the world and not just in a 10 block radius that it normally it's set in but yeah once you have all this stuff placed down you actually want to grab your spawn eggs and go into your anvil i don't know if i said to place it but you want to place down your anvil but anyways you want to go into your anvil with your spawn eggs and i already have them made right here so i named my npc spawn egg follow and i named my villager spawn egg by just like that it's really simple all lowercase if you guys want to copy the names you can definitely do that but once you have your eggs named all you want to do is just place down your npcs let me actually get rid of these things really quick i just changed that command block to impulse i'll change it back to repeating in a second but the first thing you want to do is you want to place down your npc spawn egg just like this and you want to get it all set up so you could change the skin which is really cool i'm going to change the skin to this bot skin at the very back it's right right here this one's really cool and you can actually change the dialogue of the npc or you could add some commands to it so do whatever you want to do with that make it a shop a buy shop a sell shop a teleporting area whatever it is just customize your npc first and then you want to place the villager spawn egg that is named by and you just want to place it down just like that and now once you have that what you want to do is you want to go into your command block you want to make a repeat unconditional always active and this command is super simple it's slash tp at e square bracket type equals npc comma name equals follow and square brackets at e square bracket name equals by and square bracket and what this is pretty much doing is that it's going to teleport all the people who are npc with the name of follow to people who are named by which is the villager so this first part is for the npc and the second part is talking about the villager now when you back out of your command block you can see that the robot has teleported to the npc actually let me say that again this NPC has teleported to the villager, and as you can see, it's inside of it now. The only bad thing about this is that you could actually click the villager still sometimes, which I don't really know if I can right now, but sometimes you could click the villager like that, and it just kind of gets buggy sometimes. But it is annoying to see the villager, right? So what you're gonna do next is type this in chat, do slash effect at E square brackets, name equals by and square brackets, invisibility infinite one, true and you want to hit enter and as you can see the npc or i mean the villager has gone away and now it's just the npc robot and i believe you could just still click them and edit the dialogue and everything which is really cool but yeah now you should be set and this npc should be walking around freely let me see if i open this up if they'll walk around there you go he's walking around he's moving he's on the run but yeah this is really cool it makes your npcs come to life and now they're in your world just walking around which is really cool rather than having them just stay in a spot like that which is kind of boring so that's why if you want a walking npc this is a video for you 
it but yeah it's walking around and for some reason i keep hitting the villager there you go now i can hit the npc and you can actually do whatever you want to do inside the npc it does move around funky just like this which is okay but hey it still gets the job done but yeah this video helped you guys out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and again if you guys want to join a cool discord definitely join my discord the link will be in the description down below it's a great community and if you need help with any command blocks or you just want to join a community definitely join it but yeah again hopefully this video helped you guys out and before i go youtube is recommending this video to you guys from my channel so definitely go check it out but yeah anyways my name is gabe and i'm out peace